Welcome to Mercenary Field here in Chirac, Illinois, home of the Midway Mutants. Also home of the White Sox and the Flubs. Also home of the most state politicians in Jail Hall of Fame. And this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The Grim Bay attackers battle the Midway Mutants. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hello once again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Huh? Hey, how'd your checkup go? Well, good news, bad news. Doc says I passed my physical. Oh, well, that's good. But I flunked my mental. Not too good. Well, I, it's 50-50. If I pass, then I get in Vegas. Get a point. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day, because he's the one who just got wiped out. And that'll bring up second and one. And they'll line up for the punt here. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he's got a chance for a good return here. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. You can tell he's a berserker because he's dropping it. And the defense was reading him like a book. Like it was with his rail, Grim. His hands were all over the board. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Great shoestring tackle. And it's first and ten. down. Looks like they're just going to pound it up the middle all night, Bricks. They call that the honeymoon offense. No, I'm not going to touch that one. That's what she said. Long. 
At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. It's a time warp dirty trick. The last play is a race. How did they do that? Did they go 88 miles per hour? Just ask. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just getting the points and let's move on. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. He zings it in there for a four-yard gain. Second down and six. Hot. Hot one, hot two. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. Hot two. Hot. Hot three. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Just a Mary Margaret of our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL.
And it's first and ten. Second down and ten. And he finds open space. He's running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you shot. Oh, no, well, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. Three yards on that run. Second down and seven. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Second down and seven. For no gain. Then how is it a pass? And that'll bring up third down and seven. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Any field goals over 40 yards are difficult. He's going to really have to boom this one. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy, and he gets three points for it. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. First and ten. And they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. First down in a mile. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot three. up eight yards on a strong run. Second down and more than the QB would like. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Third down and, well, good luck. Quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. The defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. Nicely done for a first down. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? First down to five. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. for an easy kill. Second down and five. Hot. Hot one. And 
picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I gotta, uh... <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done! Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. Oh, he just got pulverized by a mutant trap. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Hey, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. Seven yards. Oh, no. I got the hiccups again. What are you supposed to do to get rid of them again? You stick it in a plastic bag, say the alphabet backwards while you set yourself on fire and jump out the window. It ought to stop him. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get nice cap. And he turns on the afterburners. Put returners in this lane. Oh, what a brutal hit. First and ten. Wow! The quarterback just threw a sonic blast to his receiver. Not oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my face. Oh, mama! Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. Two minutes remain in the half. Great! I gotta take a dump! Again? You just wet. How is that even possible? Ah! The nachos, man. Want some? Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. Under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. Second down and a lock. 
Hot one, hot two, hot. Deflecting the ball. Third down, and the punter is warming up. One, hot two, hot. Oh, what a sack there. I heard this guy likes to play with soft balls. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. They quickly call a timeout, hoping to save some time for their offense. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. The punter was killed, so now they'll need to find another player on the bench to punt from here on out. Yeah, who gives a crap about punters anyway? Punters' moms? Wives? Kids? Uh, but that's about it. And it's first and ten. How do you like your defense is cooked? The ball carrier is saying, well done. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bing. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Yeah. You gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. Offense lost their last running back on the previous play. Next time the offense comes out in the field, they will have no running plays. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Quarterback passes for a touchdown. Letting these dogs into the league is a slippery slope, Grim. First them, then vampires, then mermaids, then before you know it, we're letting in cat girls. You know, things really start to get weird at that point. And here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> Boom! Dead and down! He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger, because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message, because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles! And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. And an eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Bricks' mom decided to move back in with us. Second, and the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays. That's another pick. Man, oh, man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. And like Rick, no doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. Shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw it. He is fighting for every yard. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Someone better buy this guy dinner tonight because he just saved a touchdown with that tackle. Yeah. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. The home crowd is 
wasn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. right there folks and that'll bring up second and one hot one hot two this is your brain and this is your brain on berserker boom dead and down we delivered the freaky fast ham a sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow speaking of ham sandwiches i'm gonna go grab one you want anything now still working on my salami here bricks thanks that's what she said ah uh, that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. Of course, he. It looks like we've got a penalty here. Yeah. And it's first and ten. Football is a team sport, and that's why you should never think about mine unless it's that kind. Oh, that was mad. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. First down to five. Hot, hot one, hot two. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just, no, oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant me. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's first and 10. Killer, it 
was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten his sleeties this morning. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. The 30. Let me get that guy a beer, because he just saved me a thousand bucks. Just called a time warp dirty trick. And now it's like everything that just happened didn't. Get Brick's mom on the phone quick. I want to use 13,000 of those time warps, and I'm doing mistakes she did about 35 years ago. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about shearing when he. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got dead mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. First and goal. Defense has enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. <laughs> First and ten. Oh man, I love this dirty. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can see that. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And he put the jets on and caught him from behind. Cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. The offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. And it's first and ten. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. He's not, and they pick up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for first, but still a nice game. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot one, hot two. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? And he breaks away. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic.
And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hey. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one. Coleman about a six yard gain. Hey, do me a favor, my bro. With the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwann Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. Almost intercepted. Second down and ten. And another interception. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. A lifesaver there. with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. The defense is down to their last two defensive backs. Once they're gone, it's game over. Those poor safeties and cover backs are really getting beat up today. And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Second down and ten. He broke free and has open field in front of him. Another turnover for the defense. He can go all the way. Yeah, you think you can go toe to toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. And it's first and ten. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. And he finds open space. Is running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you shut of a bitch. He's at the 10. Touchdown! And he rips off a game-breaking run for the score. Hey, man, nobody can touch you with that ball. I take all you new out. That's right. Hey. The defense has only two defensive backs left. The offense is going to try and inflict as much damage on them as possible. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. And it's first and ten. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. 
And it's first and ten. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody else combined. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, I Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And he's off to the races. He scores! Baby, I'm the greatest. <laughs> okay, nice and easy like a two foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Head. The Midway Mutants have no mutants left on their roster and declare a surrender. It's a forfeit, folks. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't. Gotta love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Bateman read the entire works of Shakespeare while tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microheart Corporation. They get it right every up.